In this video, I wanted to revisit the Saber 2 motor driver. It's a very powerful motor driver uh, meant for robotic. It can take up to 30 volt or 33.6 volt at max. And as far as for the amp, it goes up to 25 amp per channel. And as well, 50 amp uh, for a few seconds at peak. Um, I bought this shield, uh, this motor driver shield, in my first project uh, when I built the uh, wireless lawnmower. Uh, that was a nice project, uh, but I wanted to uh, make another project soon, so I'm revisiting the board and as well sharing the sketch uh, to make it work. Uh, I'll make another video as well to show how to make it wireless, uh, which is useful if you want to have like a um, an automated robot controlled by uh, a remote control. The saber tooth has some pretty cool feature. Um, you have inputs. It's only meant for two DC motor. Well, you could hook up two more to make it four, but there's only two entry. Power goes here. This dip switch uh, feature is really cool to have different mode. Um, see I have it set up a specific mode um, like I have it to RC mode input um, I have it as well to use for a uh, nymph battery uh, if you have lipo battery uh, you need to change the setting and that's all in the documentation that I'm providing as well in the description um, I have it to differential drive so specifically for tank uh, it's very easy to use exponential response and four times sensitivity mode you can see here that you can hook up power so it pushes five volts so it's cool cuz you won't need an extra power pack if you need an extra five volt uh, you can out this output five volts you have two entry for the uh, uh, signal in, out, uh, input right here and in the dip switch yeah and two each sync on each side um, i have set up here with two dc gear motor and the arduino nano this time instead of the uno one joystick and the difference between my first project is i had a, a, an extra feature it's not necessary but i find it cool is that um, with the joystick if you just move the joystick there's no action being done with the motors you really need to push down on the joystick to activate the power uh, so you'll see that when I'm not pushing the joystick the LED is red and when there's power the LED is green it's like a little safety check I guess it's pretty cool it's not necessary but um, just had fun doing that with some uh, if statement um, if we go over this sketch uh, I've built, it's uh, quite uh, simple. You can see here's a few line of code. Um, instead of using the, uh, the library for uh, motors um, or even the library for uh, that came with the saber tooth, um, I decided to use the servo library. Uh, I did understood the library from the saber tooth. Uh, website it was a bit more complex and I uh, actually didn't manage to make it work so I gave it a go with the servo uh, library and it it does work uh, so basically what I do is the library is meant for servos uh, they spin on a 180 degree um, but there's a way you can mod your servos and have it spin 360 I think you can purchase them as well uh, just like that um, so if we go over the sketch is uh, we can see here I'm defining axis X and Y I have a push button and a state capturing the value of the joystick right here um, because of the li servo library I'm creating two instances so two motors this will represent the two motors I'm defining the green light and the red LED on pin 7 and 8 joystick is on digital pin number 2 analog 0 and 1 for the joystick 
Um, so analog, uh, analog is on this side, is it? Yeah, analog and digital on this side. So you can see here how I, I have, I had to play a lot with the sitting. Um, so basically, you're telling to attach the library. You're telling to attach um, the mo the motor to pin six and five. It's like pin mode or uh, assigning a pin to a motor but using the library. These are to specify minimum and maximum uh, value for rotation. Here we can see I'm setting pin mode for the switch or the thumb, uh, the joystick when you press on the button, output for both LED. Here in the main loop or the main program, uh, you can see that I created uh, lines where I read the analog uh, value from Axel X and I'm as well doing it for the Y on the pot. Um, I'm remapping. A trick here is that um, because that it's a value from 0 to 1023 when you use a pot and to convert that into what the server the servo can reach as a minimum and maximum value so if you want to trick the library thinking you're using a modded servo but you were using DC you put in 180 and that would spin continuously um, right here is the condition or if statement for the LED so if it's press then the servo, you write to the servo the value of uh, what was for the joystick and so on. If it's not pressed, then the servo is detached. I tried the value zero, it didn't work, so it's better off to detach and then set your LED. And if it's the switch is on, then you attach the servo. If it's something else, then you detach so it makes it safer let's try the sketch itself um, so I hook up a switch to my power supply it's way easier like this uh, so you can see if I only move the joystick there's no response and the LED is red so you can see it seems like it If I press on the button, you see the red light going off and the green light going on. And this time, if I go forward, you can see the motor is going forward. And it seems to be a little glitch here. Going backward. Not working. Press. I'm not sure why it's doing this. If I release it, it keeps going. One cool behavior I notice, I don't know if it's because of the if statement, I'll have to look into it deeper, but as I said, you need to press to get current, but you, I, it looks like I've built a cruise control, so if you press, and let's say you set it to specific speed and while it's running you release the joystick it's like a cruise control it'll run until you press again so that could be a cool feature if you have an application where you need to set the speed let's say super low and then you let it run like this could be a, a camera mounted on a, a, a plateau with wheels and then it's moving forward following you that'd be cool uh, or actually just not even use the the, the, the uh, cruise control and just have your camera mounted on your plateau and with your joystick on you you can move around and the camera follows you that'd be cool I'll have to revisit that if statement but that was the version number two and uh, I will also make another sketch so it's uh, wireless